it. Come and say hi. Oh, wow. You notice how he came right into frame this time? Because his hair is dead. He got a fresh haircut. <laughs> he's like ready to go. So now he's not a diva. Ah, no hate. Oh, Lord. And people think I'm bad. <laughs> Y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. El pin de la vida que tengo puesto para este video es de Sigma Beauty. I can't see the name, so I will write it down below. 10 easy ways to look more fashionable, darlings. Let's get into it, bitches. Number one, go all out with color. I've seen this, and if it's done right, it's beautiful. And actually, let me digress a little bit. It's not a matter if it's done right. You can do whatever you want with this. If you find that the color combinations are beautiful, then that's what's important here. You just want to go all out with color, you know? It's a standout piece, right? So you can wear like neon yellows with like reds and blues and pastels and just mix and match, and you have a standout outfit an uh, outfit that's meant to be seen because everyone's going to notice you especially if you wear something like that in new york city because when you look outside or certain areas it's just a, a sea of black everywhere you go or at least dark colors so the minute that you wear something very bright you stand out especially when you go out so go all out with color play have fun with it mix and match it number two wear matching set you can see this in my last video dupe that shit where it's all about matching sets you have like the blazer that's a certain color with the pants a certain color and it just gives it a whole different vibe it looks beautiful fresh modern and depending what color you get it can be even more springy like that minty green that i had in that video i will link it up above here if you want to see that or link down below chanel is really big on doing things like this you know they have the little matching especially for the fall a little matching wool skirts with a little matching blazer those always look beautiful they make an impact they look posh very bougie even though you can find them at so many different affordable prices but remember the key to looking more fashionable is try on a matching set Numero tres, hair blazer with a graphic tee. I love this. I do this all the time, especially in the summer. This has like this cool girl vibe, this downtown vibe that I'm so into here in New York City because that type of girl is just like that traveler cool girl, like that effortless girl, like everything she wears just looks so cool on her and I feel like that's my idol. That's where I want to be, like that cool girl status. Everything she wears, it just looks so cool. Take a shot every time I say cool. No, because you will OB. I think it's just modern. You throw your blazer, any kind of blazer. I mean, it could be a texture blazer, a patterned blazer, a silky blazer, a canvasy type of blazer, linen, it doesn't matter, a corporate type of blazer, and then you wear a tee under. Very city slicker. It's a look that is casual and dressed up at the same time. Next, monochrome. Monochrome is about picking that shade, that color that you are going to sport for the rest of the day from head to toe. I mean, if you're gonna go red, then go like dye your hair red, put red lipstick, red eyeshadow, red blazer, red pants. Okay, I went a little too far. <laughs> you don't have to dye your hair. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, if you could, hey, more power to you. But monochrome, monochrome, monochrome. Pick that color you love or whatever color you have in your wardrobe that you can make an ensemble out of. It could be blues and you wear a blue top with blue pants. It can be red on the top, red on the bottom and red shoes. I think that's a beautiful look. I love red. I personally love red. But if you want to go lighter for the summer or for spring, oh, then go for creamy colors, pastel colors, bone colors, and they look gorgeous when they're monochrome they make you look super fashionable stand out without spending too much time on your outfits next wear your jackets over your shoulders i've done this many times where i've gone to some swanky place here in new york city and i just threw my jacket over because i in my mind in my eyes i was like this looks super chic like i'm somebody which is bs because i don't need a freaking jacket to tell me i'm somebody i'm somebody whether people think i'm somebody or not because i said i'm somebody Okay, I went on a tangent there. It just lends more like a cape vibe, right? Like it's almost like it's a cape. It's like so effortless, but I'm like too cool to put it on type of vibe. <laughs> Okay, I just made that shit up. <laughs> Sometimes I don't I don't want to hold things in my hand either. So then I just throw it over and I'm 
good to go. Number six, change up your footwear. This is probably one of the easiest things that you can do and you're probably like, how is this gonna make it more fashionable? But remember, everything in fashion has been done. It's not like you can go and reinvent something at this point. So fashion becomes an individual thing. What stands out and what is different for you is what's gonna make fashion a little bit more dairy, more bold, more fashionable. Now, if you're a person that always wears heels, then change it up and wear flats. You see how it's going to start changing? If you're a person that always wears sneakers, you, as an individual, changing it up to a kitten heel, to a heel every now and then, it's going to make you more fashionable. It's going to make it more different. It's going to be more unique for you, right? For me, I wear heels a lot, but I work, so I also wear flats. So for me, I mean, I feel like I wear everything. So I guess for me, how I would change it during the weekends, I wear heels. So for me, I would change it up and wear flats. That's how you can do it for yourself. It'll be somewhat more different for you and more fashion. Number seven made with proportions i love this and i do this all the time like for me i would wear like little crop tops let's say in the summer and then i would take this super voluminous big shirt and just throw it over nice and light maybe it's a silky material maybe it's a linen material because they're breathable and they're more for the summer and i'm already playing with volumes and then i could wear either super tight shorts or loose shorts and you're playing with proportions right Playing with proportions just means you're leading into contrast. Even if it's a shirt and it's super big, then you take the bottom and then wear something tighter or that just fits your body proper. You can also wear it with dresses, right? Like if you take a dress and it's super voluminous, wear it with some shoes that are very elongating and slim. Just a matter of playing with volume versus something that fits your body tighter. And see it. Don't tuck it in all the way. I am notorious for doing this and that's why I wanted to bring it to the table here. I don't even know why I started. I think it's just a, a thing where I would look in the mirror and then the shirt has a little bit of volume and I'm like, well, it kind of covers the pants too much. It's taken away from my body and how it looks. So I like to tuck certain things in because now it gives me more of a body and I don't look so lost in whatever I'm wearing. So it's just a matter of fixing the proportion for you so that it would align right with your body. If it's a bulky sweater and you feel like a little bulky in it, then go ahead and tuck some of it inside your pants and it'll anchor it and give it again like that cool girl vibe, that fashion of a vibe. Like, so you came straight for the runway type of... I'm supposed to go running after this. So tuck it in and watch your style cred increase. <laughs> next slap a hat on it i've done this countless times where i'm like wearing something and i'm like something's missing here it just needs like the extra like little like style element to really zhuzh up the outfit that i have on i mean the outfit itself is great but have you ever worn that outfit it just feels like it's missing something either some jewelry or anything right therefore you add on or in this case slap on that hat a hat just elevates any look i mean let's be honest when you wear a hat it's a standout piece everybody notices hats hats do stand out i've worn hats quite a couple of times and it just like i feel like i stand out i get compliments because it enhances your outfit and it looks great. Plus, it's a bonus because if you wear it in the summer, protect your face from the sun. And bitch, let me tell you that I have to be protecting my face from the sun because I get freckles. I swear I have Irish blood in my blood. Huh? Numero nueve. Wear sunglasses. I know you've seen this many, 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 many times out there. Sometimes you wear those certain sunglasses and it makes you feel like a celebrity. Like you should be celebrating your life. Why do they call them celebrity? because we're supposed to celebrate them or they're celebrating their status. They're celebrating their actor. Why do we call them celebrities? Oh my God, Daisy, focus. But right, you get what I'm saying? And I mean, I, for one, there's times I would wear certain sunglasses and I automatically feel like bougie and personal. Like I should be on a red carpet, bitches. Like if you go to Chanel or Dior and you try on one of those sunglasses, you automatically become somebody else. It's like a costume piece, right? You wear it and then you swear you're like, What's that lady's name? Sophia Loren. Right? Like you feel like you're somebody. Sunglasses have a habit of doing that. They transform your outfit. And they're easier to put on than makeup. Wear your crossbody bag towards the front. Okay, hold on. You're probably like, really? Yeah, really? For you to actually wear it towards the front so it could become like the focal 
point really use it like it's almost like jewelry you have to shorten the strap and wear it a little bit higher so it can sit on your tummy area that instantly elevates your outfit makes it different you need and something that you don't really see out there that often. Which one will you start implementing 